free. Just bring your uh, your stub, and we will uh, punch it downstairs. So you get free parking for two hours if you come to the library anytime. Just park at the New York Avenue parking garage. Uh, one other thing, um, we uh, had some people coming up to me over the last year saying, how come you offer ESL, but you don't offer Spanish? So we have started Spanish uh, conversation classes uh, Wednesday night. Uh, if you come, Tuesday night, thank you, Don. Tuesday night, if you come into the library at 5 o'clock, uh, it, it's not a structured class. It's very loose, which is nice. And you can learn some basic Spanish, which I think would be a very good thing for all of us. Uh, so that's at five, actually 5.15 it starts, downstairs in the main library. And finally, uh, this is the fourth uh, concert in our Black History Month uh, music series. Uh, there's one more concert coming up. Yeah, we've had a great turnout. It looks like we have another day with a great turnout. Uh, next week, next Saturday, is Tony Day who will be performing. Uh, there are other flyers in the back. We have Tai Chi classes. We have yoga classes. Uh, the library does a lot of services, and we are really happy to have you here, and we want you to use your library. So thank you. I'd like to introduce Eddie Morgan and his, and his crew. Thank you very much for being here. I know you're going to have a great time. Thank you. Thank you, Don. Uh, bye, see you. Don, bye. Bye, Don. Bye. <laughs> good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. All right. How you doing? We're good. All right. We're going to start out. Uh, well, thanks for coming, by the way. And happy Black History Month. And we are great to stay with musicians on the stage back me up tonight. Mr. Brian Johnson on the Kundas. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Jeff Burnside. <laughs> and our musical director, Mr. Darrell Robinson on the keys. <laughs> and my former student, who I'm very proud of now, is sophomore at Delaware State University, oh. Ahmad Taylor. All right. We're going to highlight some music of. <laughs> some artists that I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. Um, we're going to start out with Cannibal Adelaide's uh, Mercy, Mercy. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
in high school, started learning about jazz trumpeters. And uh, well, before that, I, lo I loved Louis Armstrong. So my sister Ellen and I would stay up late and see late night movies. And I felt the fourth grade, I started taking the trumpet. So Louis was my inspiration for all of that. And later on in high school, I started learning about Clifford Brown, and Lee Morgan, Miles Davis, Freddie Hubbard. So all these guys became like mentors to me that tried to uh, emulate. We're going to do a tune um, that Freddie Hubbard made popular called Footprints. Wayne Shorter composition. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. 
promising groove. And footprints. Miles Davis, if I were a bell. First song I ever played uh, publicly jazz wise was Round Midnight. And uh, I'll never forget that. <laughs> Took me a long time to get it right. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, that's a good thing. I, that's why I pray. Thank you. What an what a experience that was. K.Y. in the curb. K.Y. in the curb. Bridges Bill, Mark. I know it's funny. Lord, I'm going to say. Hey, Bob, where's the air? I don't know what's going on. Now, back to John, where's the air? Wrote a song for my mom. So then, later years, I got to go on to school for music. Got into composition and all kinds of stuff, so I'm going to do a song since my mom's here. Oh my to see you out today. The song, I guess I have a <laughs> That's a running, uh, running situation. I wrote the song when I wrote the music first. We recorded it back in 2001. And uh, it was an instrumental version. So probably, I think, uh, 2006 or seven, I got inspired to write words for it. Then Sandy hit, and the words were in the garage. And the words got lost. <laughs> so I knew I had taped it. Me singing it one time, but I couldn't find the tape. Last year, I found the tape. Wow. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because <laughs> every time we would play the song, she would say, where the words? Where the words? Like she just did. But I, I knew and had the words now. Title be lame.
thing is the tape made over the years with the Tape Made Jazz Festival. WRTI, Temple Public Radio, became a very integral part of my jazz experience because they hosted live broadcasts during the festival back when Carol and Woody were doing the festival. It started down there back in 98 or 9, I think it was. And uh, <clears throat> became friends with Bob Perkins. And later on, a guy that came from New Orleans, Jeff Duperon, who was the late great radio uh, personality from WRTI. Yeah, we can give him a hand. He was a great, great friend. And uh, I wrote theme songs for both of those gentlemen because they inspired me uh, to do a lot of things with jazz. So, and they supported what I what I would do here in Atlantic City, even though they were in Philadelphia, uh, they would always give me encouragement. So I'm going to do JD's theme uh, for you first. And uh, like my mom's song, I wrote words for this, but I didn't lose them. <laughs> Later, after writing the music, he would play the, the instrumental version on Saturday nights with a, sh with a show opening. Yeah. I think my daughter would be JD's theme will set you in the mood to sway. Straight ahead now, let him do it. One, two, one, two, three.
We have no clue what we're doing. <laughs> I like to keep it that way. Then it's really improvisation. It's it's improvisation. <laughs> Best guess, Mr. Sulu. <laughs> One, two, Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. 
saying, I remember that song. I remember that song. And it kind of went like this. Come on, join me if you remember. Prove that. <laughs> on a Sunday <laughs> afternoon. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead.
That one was never done like that before either. <laughs> 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 people all the time uh, we play around the Kelsey's or any other function that we do is the same thing. The three of us always add each other. And we like to also add Brian in there every now and then when we can. Speaking of which, uh, that I Dizzy Gillespie, another one of my favorites.
Mom took us several times through the years of uh, probably from 69 or so when we became teenagers uh, on through to they like, close the summer series and we would hear uh, Johnny Lynch who led the orchestra play trumpet. But many of the shows were just great. I mean, everybody was at Club Home, as you know. Yeah. So uh, this one song I really fell in love with when we saw Al Jarreau. So we're gonna do uh, Teach Me today. Baby, won't you teach me tonight? Starting with the A, B, C of it. Right down to the X, Y, Z of it. Go home and up inside the mystery of it. Baby, won't you teach me tonight? Oh, yeah. I said, it's got a plank for high above you. When that shit starts.
tonight. Ain't gonna happen tonight. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you.